Hey guys. I'm going to shout out Susie because thank you, Susie. Don't work too hard, girl. We're missing you. Tammy, Tammy. Uh oh. You don't have your glasses. That's no good. Thank you, Miss Lauren, for posting that up. That was very sweet of you. I appreciate that. I didn't even, I don't even know how that works. So that was cool. Ringmaster, whoop, whoop. Yes, we were over at my mom's house with my brother, so they were uh, puff puffing all day. Tammy's back. Hey, Janine. I'm glad you got a chance to come in and join. Hey, Trey. I got a good one for you, Ringmaster. So, like, my brother came over last night, y'all, and he banged the hell out of his thumb at work, right? So his thumb was like, okay. It was like this fucking big, y'all. I kid you not. And it was full of, like, pus and blood. It was so fucking gross. And But it, you could see the pressure. Why do my, my boobs look crooked? What the hell's going on here? Hey, queen. Am I, like, sitting wrong? What's the problem here? Okay. I got, what the hell? What is the... Oh, my God. Everything's going to shit. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Queen. Um, so he banged his thumb. So last night, he was like, Lisa, I need you to pop it for me. Oh, Dark is here today, not used. Don't worry. She's jumping in from their phone. She's almost home. So I, we got her ass here. So I know, Ringmaster, they're going to just, like, pop out one of these days and then I'm going to be in trouble for porn. <laughs> anyway, so right, so he needed me to pop his thumb. So he kept doing shots and shots and shots. And he's like, I got to get a little drunker. And I'm like, Kevin, it's not going to hurt you, big pussy. Like, once I pop it, it's going to feel so much better. So finally, at like 2 o'clock in the morning, he was drunk and high enough. Okay. So I, oh my God, I went, boop. And he was like screaming. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, turn your head, don't look, don't look, don't look. So he wasn't even looking, and I popped it. And he's, and I'm like, does it hurt? Does it hurt? And he's like, it hurts, it hurts. And I'm like, I ain't even touching it. And he was like, do it, do it, do it. And I'm like, it's already done. It was so gross, y'all. It came out. Oh my god, it was so fucking gross. But I relieved his poor little thumb. So we went back over to my mom's house today and ate steak and corn on the cob. And what else? Steak, corn on the cob. And um, that was it because we made tacos. Hey, Adri. Hey, Mike. I'm sorry to hear that you're doing bad, hon. Hey, Colby. <laughs> it's Lisa. No, my family calls me Lise, Adri, so that's just fine. You can call me Lise all you want. That's like a love name to me. So, what the hell is that? Jesus Lord, I'm a mess today, you guys. Okay, so did anybody watch who, I know there's been a whole lot of shit going on this weekend. It seems like, uh-oh, look, Dark, I don't know if she, look at this. <laughs> Locke did a good job. Locke and Tracy did a really good job. <laughs> hey little strict so did any i know that this weekend's been crazy there's been like everybody and their mother has been live on 1800 times so i know like it's a lot going on so i get it Adrian. me too i did a lot of real life this weekend like when i was doing stuff it was like late in the middle of the night and i was like watching stuff when i couldn't sleep what the hell is that? It's driving me crazy on my chest. But, okay. You, have you got... Okay, we're going to talk about cellmate secrets. But really, it's Shayna Huber, right? So, do you guys know what's happened with Shayna Huber's? She is the lady. I was a little out of control. No, I wasn't out of control. Well, I got shut down for something. I Anyway, but that, you know, that was a little craziness. I'm going over my nerd notes. Yep, I want to tell you it proper information. This was the season finale of it. Okay, so yeah. But this lady, she's a 28-year-old lady. 
she was got obsessed with her boyfriend. He kept trying to break it off with her. And she ended up going in there one night and just pretty much they're teasing us, Adri, saying because Dark wasn't here. We were out of control in this room. <laughs> that we were all misbehaving. But we wasn't misbehaving. We was just kidding. But um, so she ended up killing this man because she shot him six times but the thing about her was her whole confession and stuff was like crazy bizarre like what i just got a weird mess okay that i don't know what that was but anyway um she's 20 yeah she was like 20 no she was 20 yeah she was 28 when it happened but the whole confession thing that this is what made this case so crazy it was really 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 bizarre so we're going to start with let's just see how this happened okay guys so if anybody knows about you know any of it well mikey i would hope you're not going to shoot your lover but her boyfriend was 29 she i don't know how old she was they said she they kept calling her 28. but anyway so i have a couple things i'm going to show you but i gotta if i show you these clips i gotta stop every like couple seconds i guess i don't know i commentated through them last time but i don't know what was really what the hell was happening <laughs> i hope not but um, so in this episode, they had Cecily Miller. She was in there for trafficking and possession for like a year. She was one of the cellmates and they had a lady named Holly Nivens. She was one of the cellmates, too. OK, both of these cellmates liked her. But then what happened was that um, they ended up realizing that like, she's a master manipulator. So they like turned on her. They didn't get any help with their sentences. Nothing. They completely agreed to. um they completely agreed to help and testify against this woman without like any type of uh, what's the word like they got no benefits no benefits at all talking about a nice looking girl cray cray undercover exactly queen she was very cray cray so okay where do we want to start at guys the deal is so Let's start, let's start with how this happened, okay? This is how they met. Let's start with that. This lady, okay, mind you guys. Hey, Breezy. They got no reduced sentences, nothing. They got nothing. Hey, Breezy girl. Okay, I'm about to tell you, Tammy. So this lady, mind you, this Shayna girl, she was a straight-A student. She went to the University of Kentucky, graduated on the dean's list, right? So... No, nah, she's a manipulator not used. You got to listen. It's crazy. No deal is damn right. So she ended up in like 2011. She's seeing this picture of Ryan. He was 28 years old. He's a lawyer in Cincinnati. And hey, Maria. Maria, sorry. I'm like looking Janine. I was about to say Marie, Marie and Janine at the same time. Yes. So... She, um, his cousin, Carissa, ended up attending the same college. So he went to visit his cousin. She wanted to hook, they wanted, he, she wanted, he wanted her to hook him up. Like, so she kind of introduced them. Oh my God, these comments are going so freaking fast, guys. I'm trying. She was, dude, she graduated Dean List and everything, you guys. So, um, but I guess the deal was. Is he was an attorney. He was older. He's an older man. He was an attorney in Cincinnati. So he came to visit her, right? So they live 90 miles apart. He thought he was like engaging in this like this casual thing. Hey, we'll have some fun when I'm here. You can come visit me. We'll have some fun. Whatever, whatever. But she got like completely, completely obsessed, right? When she got out, did she get put on parole? Oh, she's not out, young Mike. She's still in prison. She's doing life. She's not up for parole till 2032. But anyway, so, but Shayna got, hey, Diana. Shayna got um crazy, like, hooked. 
So she was like showing up on him at his house all the time. He would break it off. Like they said, she would break it off, break it off, break it off. He would, she would come to the house, cry and cry and cry. So he would be like, okay, you can stay. And then they would like have sex or, you know, go out or whatever. So in 2012, she ends up graduating, right? She graduates cum laude at her freaking college. Okay, so she is not a dumbass girl. This is what gets me. This girl has like a high IQ. But you, you guys ever notice the ones with a high IQ? They always say crazy girls have good sex too, but I don't know. Um, you know, but just saying, <laughs> maybe that's what it was. I don't know. But she, yeah, she's really super smart. And um, <clears throat> what was happening though is... She was like, he was telling the cousin, he was like, for every one text of his, she would send 50 back to him. And he would like block her number, block her number, all kinds of shit. And then she would call him from like stolen phones or she would use other people's phones. Now, remember, guys, this was he met her in 2011 and all this shit happened on. Let me read my nerd notes in not even this was like a year later barely like 10 months later hey sweet thank you for supporting baby hey tracy thank you for supporting girl i know you're on vacay too gotta be a little crazy but not yeah so point look where what okay see i get all distracted with y'all you guys this is, is going so fast this damn chat Woo! <laughs> Okay, but she would keep calling him from stolen phones. She had him, she just pretty much had, he was marriage material and that's what she wanted. But he would like try to back away slowly. And um, one time she broke into the girl cousin's phone and everything. He, he had to literally like start like staying away from her. But she went to visit him. Hey, Empress, she went to visit him in October, right? So he took her to the gun range and... Um, when he was at the gun range, right, she actually sent a text to one of her friends, okay, and said, when I go to the range with Ryan tonight, I'm going to turn around and shoot him and play like it's an accident. Crazy, right? This was like a couple days prior. But shortly, shortly after that, on this was on October 12th, she saw in his phone, she found out somehow in his phone, exactly queen she saw in his phone that he had a date with this audrey lady she was ended up she was miss ohio okay in 2012 so of course shana gets jealous okay she shows up at the house she starts crying and all this crap right so he's supposed to um go meet audrey at the bar at 10 o'clock okay 10 30 he's supposed to meet her at the bar right About to tell you what happened. She goes in there. She says that Ryan abused her. He picked up the gun. She grabbed the gun from him and shot him. Okay? Wait. But here's the deal. So that's what she went. She went to the cops. She said, I shot my boyfriend. He was beating me. You know, blah, blah, blah. Shot him. But here comes the good part, guys. So, so these um, two ladies that were in jail with her. They said when little Miss Shayna came in, right? She was weird. The Also, the confession was like crazy weird. Now, I'm going to play you guys a little bit of it. So bear with me. I have the confession. You're going to see what she says. And then I'm going to tell you what the, um, the cellmates say. But bear with me because I got to commentate through it because it's kind of freaking weird. So I don't get in trouble and shut down again. All right. So let's see. Streamyard. Share, share screen, boop, boop, here we go, here we go. All right, ready? Crime vault, thank you. Fair use, fair use, fair use. This is her. He had a, 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 he had a,
These are my confessions, right? Did you hear that shit? She said he was she was standing up. He was standing up and she grabbed the gun and he went like this and fell. Okay. You guys know I got to keep stopping and starting it. It's a pain in the ass. I know. What the hell just happened? Oh. Wait a minute. There's a crime scene photo. That's an actual photo, y'all. That's them two together. That's them two together. He says he's only with me because I make him cry. That's his condo. I'm trying to show y'all the rest of the... Con- Okay, guys, this is the, um, again, fair use, whatever I need to say. This is the 911 call. I'm just going to pause this real quick. Sorry, guys. I can't. I'm trying to keep up with the comments. So um, this is the 911 call. She waited 15 minutes to call them. She called her mom first. That's what's crazy. Yes, exactly. Hi, Ella. She kept saying I gave him the nose job he wanted, but you guys are going to see this. Okay. Watch. Ready? Oopsie. I'm trying to do this right so I don't get yelled at. So she's telling them, I'm trying to go through it a little bit at a time. Hey, Heidi, thanks for popping in. Um, But I got to be careful because of this whole damn fair use thingy thing. So um, I sped it up. But now she's about to tell them that she couldn't get her things. All right, now here's her. Look. This bitch is crazy. All right, so he got shot all these different places. This is the crazy part right here. You guys watch. You know, I wasn't doing anything that was mean. 
and I was like begging him to keep to stay in the relationship and be with me because I knew that we weren't really loving each other, you know, and I told him that he loved me and he wanted to be with me. I guess I went all the way that grew hate and was pretty much a hater. I don't know if anyone will ever want to marry me if they ever that killed him. <laughs> okay, did y'all hear that part? She said, she said, I don't know if anybody would want to marry me if I killed my boyfriend in self-defense. Crazy, right? I'm sorry. These comments are going so crazy fast. Um, So I'm trying to put them all up. But I found this, like, lovely YouTube, this crime vault. Like, they got all this good stuff. So I really like this. But she's laughing. She just said, I don't know if anybody would want to marry me since, like, if I killed my boyfriend in self-defense craziest shit that freaks me out She cares about. All right, guys, I'm going to skip through some of this. The crazy part, I want you guys to hear this part. Oh shit. Stop it. No. I knew I was going to die. I very slow and painful that. And it was already dead. You know, I, it was in the next 20 seconds. So in the next two minutes, I knew he was going to be dead. And he was in a lot of pain. It took 10 years morning. But he was ultimately dead. And so I shot him. Not time to kill him. So there you go. So she claims that she. Okay, so she claims. Um, I just Googled it, baby. Hey, Nature Lee. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. It is creepy as hell. She's claiming that she went around, and after he fell, I'm going to tell you guys the details that she told the cellmates, but she claimed that she went around the thing when he was on the table. He was twitching, and so she wanted to end his suffering, so she shot him again. She shot him a total of six times, okay? I'm going to stop for a minute. What, do you guys hear this shit? This is crazy. So she thinks that ugh, she thinks that she spared him. She was saying that he's so vain that he did, would not want to live with a deformed face. She says, um, I, I wanted y'all to hear, damn it. Let's see. It's almost done. Along with. It's not true. I was in high school and she was a convicted felon. 
Oh God, let's get through this part. I'm trying to show you guys. The oh look okay guys here's the part that they were talking about where she's singing okay it's on a thing called crime vault yes oh this is awesome i, I, I freaking hate that i gotta keep like stopping this shit like it's weird but... <laughs> She's singing Amazing Grace, y'all. All right, I'm stopping it real quick for just a second. There's 43 more seconds left. But this bitch is really singing Amazing Grace. Y'all hear that? She said, yes, I did it. I did it. I can't believe I did that. I don't know, you guys. Crazy, okay? Crazy, 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 okay? Oh, that's the that's the crazy part. She's singing, and then she's like, I did that. I did that. Like, she's not insane, dude, Mikey. She's, she's, um, she's playing a good game is what she's doing. So, on here we go hold on i'm going to sh oh shit we don't want that on there <laughs> don't want that don't want that don't want that google i know you guys i'm a little of uh, a mess over here but lifetime sell me secrets all right so here we go. I can show you guys. Um, where is her? Okay. All right. So anyway, let's finish talking about this, guys. So. The deal was, so she told this, so they, she was trying to convince them that they, she had, she was being beat and all that. Exactly, sweet. It was crazy. The more I watched it, the more crazy I was going to get. So she had to stay in jail because she had a $5 million bail and her, um, and high ass IQs, right, Breezy? A lot of them do. But, um, she started talking to these two cellmates. The deal was the Holly lady really liked her. She was like charmed by her, but they were noticing that she really wanted like a lot of attention. She said, they said that like the male inmates would come in and serve them and she would come out in like a white tank top with no bra and she would like come out in her underwear and like be like, what's your name and how old are you and what you went for and all this crazy stuff. And she would always get in trouble or she would like run out of her room naked, like anything to get, um, the attention on her and they said like if people were paying attention to anyone else that's what she would do she would sing breezy that's what she would do she would just start singing or dancing but this is what okay here's the confession according to the cellmates the cellmate said that she said on the 23rd audrey went audrey was supposed to meet ryan at 10 30 at the bar so she showed up at ryan's house sitting across the table he was on his phone so he was on the, she, she let her in. They're sitting at the table. She, he takes his gun off his hip. I don't know why an attorney's carrying a gun, but that was another thing to me. I didn't get that, but okay. So he takes the gun off the hip. She picked up the gun and said to him, what would you do if I was to shoot you? 
And he said, stop playing around, Shayna. And she said, she told the cellmates she would never, lo- she never lowered the gun. She just shot him twice. And she shot him once. I'm sorry. Then he fell, he like fell on the chair and he started twitching. And she said he was so vain that he always wanted a nose job. So she said, well, I already gave him the nose job he wanted. And she shot him two more times. That's when he fell on the floor. After he fell on the floor, she shot him three more times. Said she, he wouldn't want to live with a deformed face. He's too vain. He always cared about his um, looks. Then she calls her mother trying to get her out, I guess, of trouble, which they never said anything about the mother on here, which is kind of weird. Okay. Then she calls the police. And you see how that went. The thing that freaked the cellmates out was she had no indication of remorse. She kept saying that he abused her um, and she shot him in self-defense. And that they would say that um, the Jody Arias case was actually going on when she was in prison. And that when that case would come on, she would sit there and write notes and shit. And she would talk about her case to everyone. And she would like share her commissary that she was actually a sweet girl. She would share everything but they think she did it for like attention. Um, But she told the one cellmate that she was actually laying the groundwork for the abuse claims before the murders that she would like, if he wasn't home and she was there, she would throw things around the house. So the neighbors would like hear noise. And that way, like, you know, they would think she was being beat or she would self inflict bruises on herself and then go outside and talk to like the neighbors. Yeah. I made nerd nerd notes. Yes, I did. So she would go outside and talk to the neighbors and like roll up her arms, like roll up her sleeves so you could see like the bruises on her arms. So they would say, oh, what happened? What happened? Stuff like that. So that's what made the cellmates. They, the one cellmate was like, um, you know, I thought as a mother, how could it be to not be able to uh, kiss your son on the forehead? And how could it be to not be able to have an open casket and see your son because his face is destroyed? So, but here's the crazy part, y'all. I'm just going to give you guys all the synopsis and then we can all talk about everything. She said she, yes, she made nerd notes on Jody. Yes, she did. Hey, KT. And she compared herself to Marilyn Monroe. So on 4-13-15, she went to trial, right? She argued self-defense. She said she wanted to put him out of his misery because she didn't want him, she didn't want him to live his life disfigured. Okay. He said the cousin Carissa went up there, showed proof of her trying to leave. He she had 75 texts to him legit in one hour. Okay. Neither um she tried to do the battered wife syndrome. She knew she was too smart. She said she has a she has a uh, IQ of Einstein, okay? I know that's what she said, young Mike. She said she was a um, disturbed woman like Marilyn Monroe with her bipolar and stuff. But she never got diagnosed with bipolar. I'm coming to that, though. Okay, so on 4-23, she was found guilty. On April 23rd of 2015, she was found guilty. She got 40 years. So they were really upset that she only got 40 years, right? But then what happened, (laughs) this was the crazy part. They found out that a juror didn't tell them that they had a felony during like the jury process. So she ended up getting a whole second trial. Okay. They asked the cellmates to testify again. A psychologist actually diagnosed her with borderline personality disorder which is like unstable mood, moods, erratic behavior. Um, she also claims she was sexually assaulted in a restroom as a child, but her and her parents did not report it. She gave crazy details of their sex life. She said that he got mad of her inability to have an orgasm, and that's what made him be abusive. However, she got found. <laughs> that's right, not used. <laughs> However, she found, um, she got found guilty again, but this time she got life in prison with the possibility of parole. 
Then get this though, this bitch in 2018 marries a transgender woman named Unique Taylor. Let me see if I can show you a picture of Miss Unique Taylor. And then she did a TV interview saying Unique was waiting on trial for robbery, right? She did a TV interview saying she didn't see a gender. She only sees her as a soul and all this other stuff. But then in 2019, she filed for divorce. They think she just married this lady to get an interview and pretty much was just to get back like she was being forget forgotten about you know what i mean in the in the public eye so she wanted to get back in the public eye unique taylor Shana Hubert. here we go this is miss unique taylor um and here's some pictures of hold on guys i'm gonna show you her oh thanks cd i'm trying I just don't, when it comes to this crime stuff, I just don't want to give out the wrong information about something. Okay, so this is unique right here. And this is her right here. This is Shayna. Look at her. She never, she's never unhappy. They said she never showed any emotions. She, who's this guy? Oh, he he was this was unique Taylor before he cha she changed before she became transgender. Then she got ended up a divorce. This is her again. This is her again. This is her again. Jailhouse. No, see, she got all put back in the public eye when she did that. Here is her graduating, like. I don't understand this shit. Shana Huber's inmate number listed below. Look, they gave out like her stuff. They, but she's at Campbell Correctional Center. I mean, that's her boyfriend. This is the girl that he was going to meet. So sad. Look, this is this bitch at the gun range. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Look, here she says she he was pressuring her into group sex. She had like a thousand different excuses. But anyway, guys. Thanks, CT. Well, watch it. It's done now. The show's done. I'm very upset that my show's done. I really liked it. Thank you, Dark. She's 28 now. She was 21 at the time. I was wrong. I mistake. He was 29. She was 21 at the time. This is going to make me smoke, y'all. Get me nervous. So what do you guys think? I gave you the whole story. I gave you the cellmate story. I gave you her confessioner information. What do y'all think? What's y'all's opinions? Now you guys talk about it. Anybody want to come up? Diana, in my, um, in my, on the poster that I posted underneath on my IG, I put the link to where you can watch it for free. It's under my Xfinity thing, like my lifetime thing. All you have to do is click on it and you can watch it for free. And it's got no commercials. She was crazy as hell. Oh, thanks, Diana. But yeah, you can watch it on there. It's like 42 minutes. So it's not like a really long, long show. It's not too bad. Well, damn, I did it in 39. So that's pretty damn good. <laughs> I guess I summed it up right. I summed it the fuck up. I'm actually working on something, guys, the Summer Wells thing. So I do definitely want to do that, too. We're going to do that in the next week or so. She's a freak. Exactly. The inmates don't get any work. They didn't. They did, Breezy. And the crazy part was is they, um, the lady, the one, Cecily, thought she was done with her. And she ended up coming back to jail. And they put her right back in with Shayna. 
which is nutty. It is because I was reading up on that not used and it said that um, it's really just like emotional outburst and stuff. Like it's not like at first I thought it meant like um, like the what's the other one? Multiple personalities. But that's not what it meant. Um, narcissistic is because it seems like I know a lot of narcissistic people. Never did prior to the internet. My gosh. I guess it's very rare to be diagnosed. You know, we say people are narcissists and they're self-involved and all this. But, I mean, yeah. They usually have attachment disorders. Yeah. You know what other disorder that I really don't understand? You know, a couple of people have asked me to do something once a week about mental health or addiction and stuff. I don't know if you guys want to do that. I don't, I try not to do the things that everybody else kind of does because, um, I don't want to, you know, go off of everything else, but if I do it, I want it to be serious. And, you know, so you guys let me know. Yeah. Way too many people do through the word around. What is rads? I don't know what that means, Tammy. You know which other thing I think people throw around that um, with the kids, they call it that, uh, what the hell, um, authority, obje- like they don't, they don't pay attention to authority. What the hell is it called? Ugh. But I'm like, okay, what reactive attachment disorder? Okay. Well, not used. If you would like to do it, that would be cool. I would love for you to come up here and do it with me one day. That would be awesome. There's there's another person too that I know that can help me with it. That would be great. Opposition defiance disorder. Thank you, secret secret source. <laughs> I won't call you out. <laughs> Opposition defiance disorder. Yeah, there's way too many. And some of them, it seems like they just need to put labels on shit. Like, okay, what kid doesn't listen to authority figures sometimes? Okay, like, I just feel like, and like ADD, I feel like is crazy overdiagnosed. But, you know, these are just my opinions. Uh, is usually due to parenting. Exactly. I- I'm with you on that not used for sure. So if you guys want to do something like that, I mean, you guys seem to be pretty knowledgeable on it. We can for sure do stuff like that. Um, I don't mind. I'd like to get into other stuff. I was going to go on the porch tonight because they were playing music and stuff earlier, but then it started to freaking thunder and lightning. It's 106 degrees here, heat index. It's so freaking hot. So it's just been like random storms all day. No, not always, but I feel like, I don't know. Things are like crazy. I just feel like a lot of things, it seems like a lot of these, when something's going on with a child or something's going on with somebody, they feel like they have to hurry up and slap a label onto it because it's got to be something. It can't just be like, you know, an issue. Maybe they're having an issue because they're upset at school, or maybe they're having an issue because, um, I don't know, they've got something going on that, that people don't know about, you know? Okay, Locke, do you think, I don't know if you want to say, but do you think that they just put them labels or do you think, because I mean, some kids for real have that. But some kids, I don't think, yeah, I think that they just slap labels on people sometimes. Like, and then the kids that really do have it sometimes can't get the right diagnosis because nobody believes them because they put it on so many other kids. But again, this is something different for narcissists definitely usually don't get therapy. Well, that's good luck. I'm glad. And I'm glad he got diagnosed correctly because it it saddens me that, listen, Alicia was like talkative in class and crap. And they were like, oh, maybe she's ADD. I'm like, she's not ADD. She's just social. She ain't ADD. You know what I'm saying? 
with her, like her dad was like, oh, she's ADD, she's ADD. And he went and really got her medicine. And she was like, she took it one time. And she was like, I don't like this. And she was just fine. I told her, Alicia, pay attention in class. Stop talking. You're just like your mom. I when, Even when I was in school, you guys know I talk all the time. So I always used to get pleasure to have in class, but distraction to other students <laughs> all the time because I just was a social person. Or like I would finish my work real fast and I'd turn around and talk to the person next to me or something like that. But I always got good grades and I always did well in school. But yeah. There's a lot of things, and a lot of you guys have a lot of knowledge about this. So I don't, I'm not very not, but I will research it, and we can definitely do something that has to do with that. Yeah, not used. I just think that he took her, he didn't even take her to a right, he just took her to his doctor that his, anyway, that's not, I don't even want to say too much about that, because anyway. But anyway, guys, so back to Miss Shayna Hubert. What do you think? If she gets paroled in 2032, she'll be what? She's 28 now, 48 years old. 40, she'll be 48 years old, 49 years old. Do you guys think she would reoffend? Let's see yes or no in the chat. What do y'all think? Oh, I don't want that. What is happening? I did something wrong. It's possible. Yeah. It doesn't seem like she's getting help. Locke, did you want to come up? It's up to you. I know you watch this, so um, I don't like to force you because I know you. Or if any of you guys want to come up and chat about anything, what is... No, KT, she was diagnosed borderline personality disorder. Now, when I looked up the definition of borderline personality disorder, I'm going to read it for you. Okay, it says... Borderline personality disorder characterized by severe mood swings, impulsive behavior, and difficult difficulty forming stable personal relationships. The cause of borderline personality disorder isn't well understood. Diagnosis is made based on symptoms, including emotional instability, feelings of worthlessness, insecurity, impulsivity, and impaired social relationships. Treatments include talk therapy or sometimes medication. It says the nine traits are fear of abandonment, unstable relationships, unclear or, uh, or shifting self-image, impulsive, self-destructive behaviors, self-harm, extreme emotional swings, chronic feelings of emptiness, and implosive anger. So, I don't, what is EDMR? I don't know what that is. What is EDMR? Somebody help me. NAMI? What's NAMI? You guys are so smart. You guys, damn, y'all need to be running channels. NAMI. Okay. On here, it says, frantic efforts to avoid real or imagined abandonment by friends or family, unstable person personal relationships that alternate between the idealization of I'm so in love and I hate her, distorted and unstable self-image, 
self-harming behaviors, periods of intense depressed mood, irritability or anxiety, chronic feelings of boredom, inappropriate, intense or uncontrollable anger, followed by shame and guilt, and dissociative feelings. That's what it says on NAMI. What is E? What are you guys talking about? What is this E thing? This E EDMR. What is EDMR? I don't know what that means. EDMR. I'm about to find out. Oh, virtual eye movement therapy. What is that? Eye movement desensitization is a psychotherapy that enables people to heal from symptoms and emotional distress that are a result of disturbing life experiences. But I don't understand what it is. What is it, though? Rapid. Uh, I don't understand what this is. Okay, what do they do with EDMR? Somebody tell me. It says rapid eye movement therapy, but I don't know what that means. Like what? I don't know what, what does that mean? Locked. Can you come explain this to me? Because I don't know what it means. Just watch a few YouTubers and it'll show it. Is that that like ASMR thing? Okay. I'm sorry, KT. I'm not sure. Open eye movement. Okay. Hey. Hey, hey girl. I'm sorry. I'm like, I just read up, but it's not like explaining what it is. So what they, what they did in his case was basically it is to get all of the thoughts like your thoughts the things that trigger your ptsd are like stored in your long-term memory this is how it was explained to me so if i mess this up correct me but your thoughts are um your ptsd d triggers are stored in your long-term memory so the idea is to re-trigger those memories and move them to your short-term memory so that when you have it, instead of it affecting you traumatically, you, and like it ruining your day, say, or whatever, it only affects you in your short-term memory. So it comes and it goes really fast. And what they did was they are trying to get both sides of your brain working. So he actually had to hold these like vibrating things. I don't even know what they are. They kind of look like cans in a way. And okay. it, it, it alternates back and forth, back and forth. It's to get the okay. motion and the sens sensitivity or whatever. So that both sides of your brain are working. Um, the other thing they had him do was like, you fold your at home, you fold your hands over your chest mm -hmm. and you put your right hand on your left arm, your left hand on your right arm and you rub and that gets you like kind of rub your biceps or whatever. And that, yes. And that gets both sides. Of your really? Just like this. Yep. And it gets, huh. it, it does whatever. And it gets both sides of your brain going it was it's really hard to do because if your ptsd is very traumatic as his was um you have to stir all of those memories up while you're okay. doing that but it's the only way to get all of those memories out of the stored of your long-term memory and put into short-term memory so like it's something uh, I don't know. Let's say you get in a car accident, right? Some people okay. can get in a car accident, get right back in the car the following week and be okay. Other people can, can't get back in the car, right? Because it's too okay. traumatic. Like it stores in your long-term memory. So that's the right. same thing with him is what happened with him. Not a car accident with something else. I'm not going to discuss it, but 
that's how right. it's stored with your P- with his PTSD and his diso- disassociative disorder. So, I don't know if that makes sense or No, it sounds really good. I'm glad you explained it cuz I was confused. Yeah. I never heard of it before, never ever. And so for like the longest time um he got really triggered. <laughs> we were trying to get it under control. We were trying, you know, I I didn't have my kid. I'm just going to say that I didn't have my child, my little smiling kid. Right. Because of everything that he'd been through. And, um, I was taking him to therapists, all different therapists. And the last thing I ever wanted to do was put him on medication. I just wanted him to be fixed. (laughs) And, um, there's just some things you just, like his PTSD, like I said, he's very, he's not ever, it's been a long time since anything's triggered it. Like sporting events, look how many sporting events he goes to, right? How many games is he in? You're always at your baseball game. Yeah. (laughs) He couldn't go to him before. Like they were triggering for him because of things that had happened at his sporting events. So, um, somebody said, does it help for DD? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm not sure. But uh so yeah, I mean like the like I said, I took him out of school. I put him in virtual school. Um he spent the whole last year and a half of middle school virtually right getting treatment I- and getting all of this and get, finally had to get medication and he he finally he goes to regular high school now and he you know, he like the thought of virtual is like, no, I'm not doing that. I need to be in school, you know? So. No, that's awesome. That's good. Yeah. That seems right to not use a big part of therapy is getting the right kind. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, Tammy, I'm with you. I would love to go to these prisons and interview these people. Like I would love to do that. Oh my God. I Oh obsessed. yes. Like what I makes their brain tick? Like that girl dancing, Singing, yep, I did it. I did it. Yep, yep, I did. What is going on? All right, Trey. Thank you, baby. I hope everything's okay. Yeah, that is. I mean, that girl did. And then she was like, I did it. Like, what was, was she like? I don't know if she was talking to herself. I don't know if she was like, <laughs> saying, this is what she was going to say to like the police. Like, that's where I was like lost at. I was like, what is she doing? Yeah. And I like, I really liked, what was that other, what was that inmate's name? The bigger one. What was her name? Thessaly. Thessaly. I really liked her. Yeah, she was really emotional. She said that, you know, that was, that what got her was that she kept shooting him in the face and it bothered her because she was a mom and she couldn't imagine not being able to kiss her son on the forehead or not being able to see his face one last time or and I, I I get it. And she said they got called snitches and, you know, all kinds of shit in there for testifying. Yep. The other thing she said was about that marriage to that. When, uh, what's her name? Shana married mm-hmm. that person in prison. Yes. She said, like, I think she just got bored and she it was her way of saying, hey, I'm still here. No, like, I'm was, still here. Yep. Yes, I just... that's locked. Sorry, oh, locked. Okay. Name's, your name's not at the bottom, so they don't uh, know. I don't know why that's not there. I don't know why it is either. Mm. Um, but I thought that was really interesting that Cicely picked up on that. And when that Carissa, the cousin, was explaining her um, Shana's personality, she had said the same thing. Like, yeah. any time she wasn't center of attention, she would... Dance, Dance and sing. sing. Yeah, it was like crazy. It was. It was. It. This was a pretty interesting story to me. Like, I was like, okay, and I and I started watching it. I really got into it. I really got into it, and I was sad. I was like, damn it! It's only six episode season. Why is it over? I, I know. I was like, where's the other episodes? <laughs> I know, and then this is the one though too. Though they ha- they kept saying they were going to do a Jody Arias episode, but they didn't. And I've looked all over on demand, and all I can find is um, sell me or uh, Jody Arias 
movie. But I'm like, well, yeah, that's okay. But fuck, I've seen the movie. We've all seen it 3,000 times. It's been on like every damn channel in the world. I want to see something with her cellmates. <laughs> yeah, I thought that, I thought I saw on Google that she was going to do it. They were going to do a yeah. Jodi Arias one. But it's not. It's just it's just showing the um like a movie about her. Um, Eileen, you're right. They said that she was in there. I don't know if you watched it, Eileen, but they said that when Jody Arias was in there, she was like taking notes and um, you know, writing down every like every detail that had to do with her case. So I don't I mean and then I just didn't get why she was comparing herself to Marilyn Monroe. That was weird to me. I know. I meant to like look more into this. I don't know, like her whole background was just crazy, right? Real smart. But you know what? Don't you ever notice those people with those high IQs are like serial killer? I mean, not all of them, but like, you know, <laughs> yeah. all, like, or like even Albert Einstein, right? He was high IQ, but he was off. He had issues, right? Didn't they say yeah. he was? Yeah. Or like, you know, people that like invented st people with high IQs sometimes are off. Maybe that's their brain is different. And that maybe that's what part of makes them very high IQ. I don't know. Yeah. I would like to research more into that stuff too, because I get interested in that stuff. But like, I want to know about their upbringing. Like, how were they brought up? Were they brought up normal? Did they, you know, like, was she a spoiled brat? Always got her way. Was that embedded in her brain, or is her brain just? Twist it. That's what I was wondering too, because they didn't say anything about her upbringing or her mother or anything. They just said something about that on her second trial. She said she was sexually assaulted in the bathroom by a stranger. Yeah. Yeah. What? Like, what mother oh, wouldn't my, report that? I don't know. But then they never, that was the weird part. And they never said anything about her mother, what her mother said, or was her mother there, or. Anything. Well, the only thing she said about her mom was that she would call her and she would be crying and like, eh, mom, blah, blah. and then she would look up when her one of her cellmates walked by and be like, and like wink at them and smile, like, look what I got. I'm, I'm playing my mother. But that's the only thing in that whole episode they said about her mom. And they said that she had called her. So between her killing him and calling mm -hmm. 911 was 15 minutes. She called her mom. What the hell did she call and say to her mom? I don't know. I would love to like, know that. Can you not tell us that? Like, these are the details I need. <laughs> yeah, those are the details. Exactly. Those are the details I need. But, like, I, I don't know. It's just crazy. Like, it, and she's such a young, smart girl. It's, what was it about him? But here's the thing, too. Like, why did he, if he was going on a date with somebody that night, why did he let her in? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I get it. If some a girl, they, they the cousin kept saying like she would stand there and cry and freak out and all that though. But like, I don't know. Why did he let her in? Why did he put his gun on the table in front of her? Yeah, and why is he carrying a gun? He's an attorney. <laughs> I know it was just strange. I, mean, I don't know. I I wouldn't put my gun on the he table was still with it. Her. There you go. Not used. <laughs> What? But he was going to live in Miss Ohio that night. So what the hell? Yeah. I know not you. Some people don't definitely report him. But it's just funny to me that they didn't talk more about that. Like you would think in the trial they would talk more about that. You know, she was abused and maybe it triggered her because she was saying that he didn't like her inability to have an orgasm. Mm hmm And she, he was like getting mad, but... The whole thing that she would go out there and talk to the neighbors and stuff and, like, roll up her sleeves and show your bruises and shit, that's weird. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of off. But. I think she saw him. He's a lawyer. He's good looking. Like, maybe she. She said marriage material, I guess. Right? Yeah, like, this is the whole package like i'm gonna live happily my ever after life. what's that yeah it's like her perfect life and the crazy part was is she didn't she graduate in psychology i that's what yes, they said yeah school like 
Yeah, she and she got her master's in, they say, or something. She graduated on a dean's list, um, cum, what do they call it? Cum laude or whatever. I don't yeah. even know what that means. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like honors in college. Right, like, not used? <laughs> I don't know. I know, right? Then they would try a whole lot harder if they were worried about us <laughs> not having orgasms. I don't know what the hell the sexual. That's the detail. Like, damn, show that part of the trial. Like, I'm sure there's clips somewhere, but now I'm so worried. Like, I don't know how all this shit works, and I don't want to. I hate bumping back and forth with y'all too. Like, it's hard for me to do that, and then I don't want you guys to get like irritated or whatever. But why? As I'm jumping back and forth, I need like three computer screens. I gotta become a professional. <laughs> a professional. I need a microphone and everything. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a ring light, microphone, a green Oh, I had screen. a five dollar ring light, but it broke. <laughs> I thought we were doing the green dollar. screen. <laughs> I know I gotta get my green screen. Yes, I gotta get. <laughs> then you can shower. put it up behind you and like point. And this is where <laughs> I'll get a laser pointer. <laughs> Be set. <laughs> set <again. laughs> And she oh shot him goodness. right here. <laughs> right? So what else? Have you been watching anything on TV? What's, what's going on? I mean, I watched Potomac. Did you watch the first two episodes of Potomac? No. I fucking, need to catch uh, up. Fucking Wendy wear her nude interlude. Uh, that was the weirdest shit ever. We, no, I haven't talking. seen it. I haven't. I've been slacking on the TV. She had a party called the Nude Interlude and had everybody dressed in like brown or nude. And I was just telling you guys earlier, I don't know if you guys seen this, but poor Ashley's like pregnant as hell. And she she wore these like crazy looking silver boots. She could barely walk. And then she went and got her high heels so she could fit in with everybody. And they like the Giselle got on the ground and was like gonna strap her high heel on for her. And um <laughs> Oh my god, and freaking uh, she couldn't even get them strapped because her poor feet were swollen. I'm not telling dark <laughs> girl. I found love and lock up Nicole and Lacey. Nicole, who? Who's Nicole? Nicole, Nicole, Nicole. I know Lacey. Lacey was on a live last night at a strip club. Did you see that? Mm -mm, I didn't see that. I don't I we're 40. She was in there. I caught her going in there, too. Uh, uh, <laughs> where is 40? <laughs> well, I know. I'm about to tell, tell her about her. Ass. I seen her. I was like, oh, she had 40s in here. Because it was like the Italian queen, whatever, it was live. I mean, like, I'm like, where the hell is Shane? Where's John? I thought they were all together. I don't even know what the hell. Oh, with Dante. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. Not used. You're going to have to send me that link. Uh, Lacey blocked Lacey you. Not blocked used. you. <laughs> What you do? What you do? How do you That's get blocked by a reality star? <laughs> That's deep. I know. I caught her in there. I was like, I was about to say, "Hey, the forty, but I was like, I'm not gonna call her out. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Not you. Tell us what you did. I need to know why you got blocked. Yes, all the details. Details. Give them up. Give them up. Give them oh, up. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I want to see. Now we really want to see. <laughs> Do you know under my comments on YouTube the other day, under one of my videos, somebody put like a porn sex something. I was like, what is that? Yeah, don't click those. on that. <laughs> no, it was weird. It was like nice video and it had like a something, but then it was like... um I don't know. It was weird. It was, I don't know. It was weird. It was typed in there weird. What the fuck is dinging? It was a long time ago. You don't remember. You don't know why she blocked you. Damn it. Oh yeah. I heard that. Yeah. Jessica Chastain apparently is taking credit for getting cesspool shut down. <laughs> why what? does she want to take credit for bad things? I don't understand this girl. Where, where, where are you reading that? Oh, um, she said it on some on somebody's live the other day. I heard it, but I just it they somebody just posted it on Reddit. 
That girl is saying Is she gonna um, be on an episode? <laughs> she's gonna be on a fucking I don't get that girl. I wonder if it's even really her. I wonder if that's somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand that. I've never spoken to her, but why would she take down cesspool? Why would she call CPS on people? Oh, like, that doesn't yeah. make any sense. Why, Why does, does she, she donate money? Sense? To Nobody people. even knows who she is. <laughs> I don't know what live it was. I saw her in there and I was like, oh, God. And she was like, um, and she said how old she was. And I was like, girl, you lying. <laughs> how old did she say she was? <laughs> she, I think she said she was like 30. I'm like, you are not that young. Oh we're being good. This is okay, drama dark. We, I mean, you know, this is a little bit of just something funny. I just don't understand. Why would you want to take credit for that stuff? Like, I would never want to take credit for something bad like that. I don't know. It just don't make no sense to me. We're going to, she's going to be on cellmate secrets, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. So it's then I heard my brother came shows, on this crime shows like that. Like, remember Snap? Is that still on? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? They don't, um, I don't think they play new ones anymore. You know what's back on, though? Cold Justice. Do you guys watch Cold Justice? No. What is that? <gasps> you don't watch that? Oh, my God. It's got, like, a prosecutor, um, Kelly Siegel. And then it's got like a DNA expert and now she's teamed up with like the sheriff guy, but they go in and they find cases that like weren't solved or whatever. And like, were really close to being solved, but never got like, um, never got like, um, uh, like a resolution. Nobody ever got arrested or whatever. And, um, She goes in and they they start re-interviewing and they and they get there's stuff that they can DNA they'll DNA it and all kinds of stuff like it's really awesome and they've actually got people convicted for that stuff like it's a really good show it's on Oxygen. Who's CJ? Oh wait, who's CJ? I don't know who CJ is. And Kelly, CJ and Kelly, CJ and Kelly. Who's the hell CJ and Kelly? I'm lost. Yeah, I'm lost too. I don't know who that is. I don't know who CJ and Kelly. Um, it's an invite only thing, Ella. I don't know how. If you were on the old one, I believe they invite you to it. I'm not really sure the mods have to do it. I just appreciate everybody that's been so sweet to me on there. And I guess that's weird. People think it's weird for me to say thank you for support. But I appreciate people that support me. And I will always thank anybody who supports me. I don't think it's weird. Yeah. The show and the prosecutor. Yes. Cold justice. Yes, yes. CG. Okay. Uh, CJ. <laughs> I thought you were talking about a person, Eileen. I'm like, who the hell is CJ? Um, no, but they got cold justice. And what's the other one? Um, uh, what's the other one? What's the other one? Oh, murder. Murder, accident, or suicide is a new one on Oxygen. And that's pretty good. Like people that like um, say, I don't know, you had a family member that died and they considered it an accident, but you don't, or a murder, but you don't believe that, or vice versa. They go in and they re-examine. Or on ID, they have reasonable doubt. I need to watch some of these. I have Hulu, so I can't like click ID TV. I have to like search the names because I'm stupid and don't know how to. <laughs> Deadly Women is my ID show. I love that. Yeah. Old Barry in the Backyard is good, too. Oxygen's got all the crime stuff, 24-7. You get Oxygen on Hulu? I think so. Oh, what it, What is it? Deadly Women's on Oxygen, right? Yes. No, yeah. no, no. Deadly Women's on ID. All right. What's on Oxygen? Oh, God. Now... This whole other shit. I'm so lost on what's going on in the freaking uh, blogger world. I can't figure out all this blogger world stuff. You have Philo. You keep saying that, right? Not used. That's a good thing because I have all the channels. I'd be wondering because, like, you know, Roku TV, it doesn't have anything new, it doesn't seem like. So I'm like, like I got one of those TVs, a smart TV, right? And it'd be like Roku. Yeah, you gotta like download the channel, sign into your 
um, internet provider, whatever. It's crazy. Ella Danley. Wendy finds out. Girl, I, I have a really crazy um, problem in the middle of the night. I, I don't know why. Like, I'll get up at random hours, and ID is the only thing that never has infomercials or oxygen. And on the weekends, that's what I do. I sit here and I binge watch my stuff. That's all. I'm burning up. You're burning up. Yeah, sorry. That was just random. <laughs> <laughs> Do a free trial. No, but it's all it's all eight twenty. See, I'm thinking I'm about to get rid of my damn Comcast because I pay one hundred eighty-seven dollars a month. It's fucking ridiculous. Okay. And what the hell? Why do you pay so much? That's I why don't I know. Rid of cable. It was one eighteen. Okay, it was K, and I don't even got anything special. Okay, don't even have nothing special on there. Yeah, that's why I got rid of it. I used to have but, what? Uh, what's the other one I used to have? Everything. What was that? I have no idea. Oh. Got rid of Comcast. Yeah, exactly. Comcast is crazy, but I use that Flickster, and that pretty much has everything on it. And I just cast it to my TV. So, that's the easiest. It's right, Diana. It's fucking ridiculous. And the Wi-Fi. So I think all I need is Wi-Fi. And um, I, there's this company called Wi-Fi. It's called W H Y F L Y in my area, and it's like forty dollars. And it's phone and internet. And they come out to the house. It's forty dollars a month so with internet. You can pretty much do anything, right? Uh, I, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was reading the comments. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know, I'm like, I know, I'd be reading a comment too. <laughs> be like, oh, um, but yeah, that's I know, what I got I did because out. Hulu's like what five ninety nine a month though. Basic, yeah. Mine's more. But you can get more. How much do you? I mean, you don't have to say, but like, how much do you pay for more? Uh, I pay. I think it's like sixty five dollars. But I pay for Hulu Live, so you have all the channels and live TV. And then I have so many devices that it's on. Like, I had to, I don't know. It's like 65 bucks, so it was way better than my cable bill. Uh, it, my cable bill was insane. And so now I just pay for internet because you have to have internet. And right. Then I, and then I pay $65 for Hulu Live. Damn, that's a lot. Yeah. I can't drop it because my husband is setting his way. Yeah, I know. You know what, though, um, Diana? You can get ESPN Sports Plus for like $70 a year or something. You got it for $199 on Black Friday. Damn, okay. You go. Oh, uh, Hulu, basic Hulu? Or yeah, I saw that advertised. Mm -hmm. You know what? I don't... Um, I'm not big on. I'm not big on the um, Amazon Prime either. I I don't I like Amazon Prime to order stuff, but like the for the Amazon like the TV stuff, I don't see anything like special. Every no. time I go to click on stuff, it's like, oh, this isn't included. Yeah, oh, this isn't included. Yeah. That's that's like, what, what I, the that's fuck? the problem I have. Or I want to like watch a movie and I'm like, okay, this isn't included. This what the hell? This is worthless. I mean, I have Amazon Prime for my shopping, so every once in a while I try to go check out. But every time I go look at a show, it's not included. I'm like, what the hell is included? Yes, it don't make no sense. And I, it, it irks my soul. It really does irk my soul. Why does this keep coming? You guys, I got a question. In DMs, right? I want to know how come every time it doesn't matter, it'll keep saying I have one, one, one DM, one DM, and I will scroll down and look 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 and look. And, look. and I can't, I don't see nothing or it has a little blue dot and I click on it and it still says one DM like constantly. I don't know how to freaking get rid of the shit. It drives me fucking crazy. I don't, uh -oh. yeah, I don't have that problem. 
I have that problem. Hang on a second. I, have, but I don't know. But anyway, guys, we are hour and 20 minutes in. I know it's late. It's Sunday night. Dark, poor girl. We got her on the thing mod and when she's driving home. So I don't want to hold her up too long. I don't want to hold Locked up too long. I don't want to hold you guys up too long. I'm glad we talked about Shayna Huber. Um, if you guys want to do this once a week, we can call it something. I don't know. We can talk about, um, since we're not going to be doing cellmate secrets anymore because it's over. Well, damn lock. Bye. <laughs> she just bounced on me. <laughs> Um, if we're, if we want to do, we can do like, uh, you know, pick a night and pick, do a, like a mental health thing or something. And then if you guys want to come up and share or talk about stuff, if people got questions like not use, that's awesome that you know a lot about it. That would be great. If you can DM me, I can get with you. We can pick a night and, or anybody else that's familiar with stuff. I know TT, EECC, Tammy's pretty familiar. Um, but yeah, like it would be cool. I don't know a lot about stuff. If we picked a, a specific topic, I will definitely, you guys know me. I do my research. Oh, guess what too? Did you guys hear that Joe Exotic might get fucking paroled? Ella, DM me please. And I'll help you with that other thing, but I'll find out for you. But anyway, um, I heard Mr. Joe Exotic may get he got like um he won his appeal for like something so um we'll probably do something about tiger king soon so if you guys want to read up on that or whatever so that way you can i will let you guys know ahead of time but it, it will be this week we may start having some guests on here and there i don't know who yet but you know i have a few ideas in mind um but i just want to kind of do some fun stuff alicia will be back in like a week yeah, I think, Diana, they're redoing his sentence. That's the deal. Something like that. But apparently he's got an, um, okay, Ella, cool. I don't see it, though. Hold on. Let me make sure I got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I see it. I see it, Ella. I'll get back with you shortly. Um, but yeah, I heard he's got like cancer or something they were saying. I don't know if that's true or not. So, oh, okay. Not used. You're crazy. You know all about crazy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the thing. Not, but, um, yeah, um, I got all distracted. So we'll just have to definitely um, try to do that. Uh oh, Locke had an emergency. Let's think. Let's hope that she's okay. Yeah, because it's supposed to be like a private thing. So um, we'll, I'll explain it to you. But anyway. You know my feelings on Joe, not so exotic. I know I can't stand him. I cannot stand him, but we may have, we have, I got this. Well, 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 sweet sassy, you, you know, a little something. So we're going to see, but anyway, guys, I love you guys. I know there's a lot going on and I know you guys could be watching a ton of other things right now. So I appreciate you guys coming in and spending this hour and a half with me. And I really do appreciate it because I do take time and I do take my nerd notes and I do my research and try to do say the you know real things and I don't want to um, give false information or anything. And you know, we're trying to keep everything so drama free. And I really love you guys for coming in here and not doing any drama. Yeah, I'm sorry. We busted that little thing in. I shouldn't have. That was my fault. But, you know, sometimes I slip. I, I really do. But I love you guys. And I love our little small group. And I'm very grateful to you guys. Um, I do still want to do the giveaway. And not used. I really wish you would advertise your channel because you're so close to a thousand. Not that you probably don't even care, but I would love to help you get there. I don't even know. You might be over. Like, you have an awesome channel. I didn't even know you had one until I found it through Reddit, which is crazy. 
but oh thanks ella i'm trying my very best um but yeah sometimes i want to sweet and sassy but jesus i'm, I'm trying to be all good girl but I love you guys. And again, thank you. Thank you. No, she's not. She's driving, not you. She's like four hours from home. You know, she's be on like, on like a three out, a three week um, road trip. So she is literally like three, four hours from home now. And she's just trying to get the hell home. She was on her phone trying to mod for me tonight. So I was like very grateful to her for that. But no, she laughs when we, because I tease her all the time. And she teases me all the time. I need, shit, she's got to get on me because sometimes I get off on a tangent and it'll all go downhill from there. <laughs> thanks, Ella. I'm trying. Um, thanks, Lauren, again, for posting up for me. I appreciate it. And like I said, I know you guys um, could be doing a million other things right now and you're here with me. And, you know, Lauren said something to me really nice earlier. She said, you know, it's fun to, uh, she said, we got to watch, we got to, we got to encourage more positive things because so much is drama nowadays. And I agree. I said, yeah, I agree because it is hard. It's, it, you know, I'll, I will never probably have a hundred and some people in here, but that's okay. I'd rather have our. 10, 12 people, and we all talk, and we have a good-ass time, and that's all that matters. I just want to have a good-ass time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, not you. You only watch me? Oh, I'm so, I'm so, you're so sweet. <laughs> no, but, I know, I, we just want to laugh and enjoy ourselves and just have a damn break from the real world and any of the craziness. So I love you guys and thank you. And we will do something maybe tomorrow or Tuesday, but definitely we're going to have surprise guests this week and do a little couple things different, maybe a little something, something. Um, and Alicia will be back in about a week. So we'll do some more cooking, but I might do some cooking in between if I can get hubby to help me. He's got to help me you know, with the camera thing. And we'll be out chilling on the porch and it can stop being over 100 freaking degrees out here. So, and I might try to do some stuff in the afternoon. I know you guys can't all be there, but like, just like little stuff for, I've noticed a lot of people have been DMing me from like the UK and they feel bad because they can't watch. So I thought maybe if I did something in like the afternoon, you know, like a small stream here and there, it would be cool. So we're going to try any new ideas you got or anything you want me to cover, any shows, let me know, DM me. But I love you guys. Thank you so much. And we will talk later. Mwah.